today we're going to be doing an intermediate with options choreography tutorial to putting on the Ritz. Such a classic song, definitely highly requested. So thank you to all of you who requested it. One of my favorites of all time. Uh, this used to be my solo, not this dance, but the song used to be my solo, not in a tap way, but I was in a sign language club in high school and we would sign to music and the teacher said we should give Jen putting on the Ritz because she's a tap dancer and she will get into the song. They were not wrong. I did. It's just, it just moves you when you're a tap dancer, you know? So super fun. I'm very excited to teach this to you. This is going to be slowed down. So I took a cover and then I slowed it down to about 90% of the original tempo um, to help it be more intermediate. But once you take it up to tempo, it gets a little bit more advanced, which is so fun. So that's why lots of options today. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so this is very on the words. So when I make an intermediate tutorial, I try to like go with the most intermediate tempoed part of the song. For this one, it's the words, that da 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 that part. So there's all this piano underneath it, right? All this crazy jazz piano. That would be if I did an advanced version of this song. And maybe I will one day, but today I wanted to introduce it to y'all as intermediate. So, you have dig step, dig step, stamp, chug, spank, ball, chain. So that's on that, 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 that first one and two and. So, dig step, dig step, or dig toe, dig toe, or heel toe, heel toe, however you say it. Totally fine. We all have different terminologies for steps. I'm going to say dig step, but it is and then drop your toe and that is the step. So you have one and two and and then you have stamp chug spank ball change. So tempo wise or timing wise it's going to be one and two and one and two and three and a four and. Let's try that. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two Good, one more time. Five, six, seven, go. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. Good, then you're gonna do it on the left. Exact same thing on the left. Five and six and seven and eight. So let's try the left. So you're gonna do dig step, dig step, stamp chug, spank ball change. Okay? Let's try it on the left. Five, six, Seven, eight. Big step, big step, 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 step. Awesome. Right and then left. I'm gonna wake up my computer because it decided to go to sleep on me. <laughs> Alright, five, six, seven, right. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven. Not bad. Let's try it one more time. Five. Seven, eight. One, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Awesome. Your right foot is free. You have stop, toe, 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 toe. So you're not going to put any weight on any of those toes. So you stop, you move it out, in, out, in, out. So you have five toes. Stomp out, in, out, in, out. There's five. I had to hear the song in my head. I was like, that seems wrong, but no, it is five. So you just finished. Stamp, chug, stamp, ball, change. Your right foot is free. You have one and two and three and. Then you have paradiddle stamp on putting on the Ritz. Right on, putting on the Ritz. Paradiddle stamp. Now, if you're more of like a beginner intermediate and you don't and you don't want to deal with like fast stuff in a short amount of time, you can stop the phrase there. Technically, the phrase would stop there. Six, seven, eight. And you just hold six, seven, eight. But here's a great option. If you want to throw a couple more steps in there before the end of the phrase, you would do and then shuffle step, shuffle step, ball change. And a six, and a seven, eight. And this is something that's going to happen a lot in the dance. That air. And it's not 
that fast, but it definitely adds a little bit more than maybe you were expecting at that moment. So you had one and two and three and four and four shuffle step, shuffle step, ball change. Now you don't have to do the shuffle step, shuffle step, ball change, which is what I was saying. Uh, you could stop at putting on the wrists, six, seven, eight, and just give it a little six, seven, eight to get ready for the next part. That's a great option to take it from beginner intermediate or advanced intermediate, whichever one. So that whole phrase goes one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and one and two and three and four and five. If you want to do the last part. If you're not doing the last part, six, seven, eight. I'm going to do the last part because it's just the difference between doing the step and not doing the step. So just in case you are doing it, I'll put it there every time. But you don't have to do that part. If you are doing that, the shuffle steps happen right away. Sorry. I just counted it wrong in my head. <laughs> Paradiddle set, shuffle set, shuffle set, ball change. And a six, and a seven, eight. So that seven, eight is extremely like open. So, all right, let's try the whole beginning and then we'll try it with music. Cool? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, Not bad, shall we try it? Let's do it. So, remember, first time doesn't count. We're just kind of getting used to it. Um, this is a very interesting cover. It's very jazzy and like, I want to say throaty. <laughs> like, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. It's very, very cool. So I'll have the cover information listed down below like I always do, and let's give it a shot. because their accent and their like timbre comes through and I just think it gives such a cool as like cool aspect to every song you know anyway let's try it again so that first time was just to get used to how the song sounds we had not heard that yet um, and now this time we're gonna get a little bit more comfortable with it cool <laughs> Daniel 
you'll do it on the left foot. So it's a lot of right and then left repeat. Then left foot. So let's try that. Five, six, seven, eight. Sorry, I think I forgot to say we were going to do both sides. <laughs> so, now let's do it again. Both sides. Yes. Five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. Your right foot is free. And give it a little swing. A one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and on those full out heels. Your right foot is free. You have step, step, heel, heel, ball change. So this is like a kind of slow cramp roll. One and two. And then you have ball change. So one and two and three and. Same rhythm as this. But this time we're using different steps to make that rhythm. One and two. Then you have the same thing that you did before. Or just paradiddle stand. So the putting on the Ritz is the same both times. So, going from flat heel, it goes one, two, three, ball change. One, two, three, ball change. Step, step, heel, heel, ball change. Kind of, that's how that all comes together. So you do the two sets of flat heels. Then you go into the cramp roll ball change. Then you have putting on the Ritz. Cool? Let's try that. Five, six, seven, eight.
next section we have like I want to say the bridge or the refrain of the section maybe yeah but you have like this a section and then the b section they sound the same so the steps were very very similar and now you have a little bit of like a c section which is like a little different or i guess it's a a b a anyway <laughs> so this section the music sounds just a little bit it's that uh, dressed up like a million dollar at that part so the rhythm is a little bit different in the words is all i'm trying to say this is not a good morning for talking for me, but hopefully my feet are doing well. So we have dig, step, ball, change, dig, step, ball, change. So the same step that we did in the beginning, that heel toe, but you only have one of them and then you ball change. One, in, two, in, three, four, four, eight. So it's a little bit of like a lean into it. I feel like, I feel like Gene Kelly when I do this step, just like one, two, three, four, I don't know why I feel like Gene Kelly, but I do. Maybe it's the best. <laughs> so you have one and ball change, dig step, ball change. Then you have step shuffle jump toe, step shuffle jump toe with a comma in between. Now, a great option for that to make it a little harder is to add a grab off or a pickup or a spank in the middle of that maxi board. So you can go ahead and add that. I would just try to keep it light. I wouldn't like stamp into it because then it's not like, it doesn't match the vibe, if that makes sense. <laughs> but if you're still working on getting it from the toe and you need to be flat, that's okay too. Just don't slam the stamp, okay? So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you're holding the and of six. There's a little comma between. Let's try that again. Five, six, seven, go. One, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, seven, and eight. I'm not going to add the pickup, but if you want to, you may. That's just one of those extra things that you can do to make it a little harder. One more time. Five, six, seven, eight. One, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, seven, and eight. Awesome. Your right foot is free. You have step and then three drawbacks. Step, ankle, step, ankle, step, ankle, step. So you step with the right and then you start your drawbacks with the left. Step, draw, back, draw, back, draw, back. Ball change, pull back, or ball change, slide together. So you're either going to go ball change, pull back, or ball change, slide. So that's. One and a two and a three and a four and five e and a six. So that's the rhythm of it. So you have the drawbacks. One and a two and a three and a four and five and a six. Or and five and a six. So try to click on six. It's like, I think it's Gary, Gary Cooper. So you want to click your heels together if you're doing this lap. Okay. I'm going to do the pullback, but you can stamp, stamp, slide, and click your heels. Absolutely. Or anything that you want to do there. You can do a cramp roll. Always. Always in my dances. You can replace a pullback with a cramp roll. Always. The only reason I didn't put that there automatically, because we have a cramp roll coming like right after that. So I just thought it'd be a little weird. But if you want to, cool. So let's go from... Dig step ball change. Let's try to add that in there. Okay? So we have one and two and three and four and five and six, seven and eight. One and a two and a three and a four and five and six. You hold seven and then she sings and then we do a cramp roll. I don't usually play the music without like us doing the dance with it, but I just want you to hear the rhythm of it. Stops and delays, perfect fades, no pardon no the way. Thank 
step heel heel. And any version that you use of this, I think that part's going to be a little different. So that's why I wanted you to hear it. So it goes one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and you have one, two, three, four and five and six. Hold seven and an eight and an eight and da 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 da. So we'll try to catch that together and an eight and. Okay. Cool, let's try that one more time before we add that on with music from here. Ready? Five, six, seven, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 Hold seven. And an eight, and you'll catch it, I promise. Shall we try adding it on? Cool. All right, let's do it. because that's going to be different in any version that you use. So if you go to the original version of this, that's a little bit different. Just like slightly different, but it's a little different. Everyone's interpretation of that like little rhythm is going to be their own because it is a jazz song and jazz songs are meant to let the performer have their own voice, their own flavor in it. So if you catch it when we do it together, great. If you don't, that means there's a version out there that's better, that's a better fit for your flavor on that little rhythm. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Like I said, I'm not having a good talking day today, but dancing I'm doing all right. So, all right, let's try that again. This time just get a little more comfortable. Sorry, it loves to interrupt me. This time just get a little bit more comfortable with it. as much as you need, practice as much as you need, and then meet me back here when you're ready. 
All right, very, very last part. You just did crane and roll. You have flap, step, flap, step. Now this is probably the fastest part of the whole combination. So just a heads up, it's a little quicker because the steps are, they have more, they're more subdivided. So you have flap, step, flap, step. So you're flapping with the right, stepping with the left. Then you have flap, heel, heel, spin, heel, toe, heel. Okay, so we have a one, two, a three, four, a five, and six, and seven, eight. So it's a little swung and then it's not. Swung for the flap step, straight for the Broadway, or Shirley Temple, or Manhattan, or whatever you call it. So let's try that. Five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. Then we do it on the left because the pattern stays the same. So let's try it on the left. So you have flap step, flap step, flap heel, 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 heel. Okay. Try it on the left, up to tempo. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Relax and keep your weight centered between your two feet. That way you have the ability to do those like heels without mushing them up. Because a lot of times when, when we get the heels a little muddy, it's because all of our weight went over here too fast. And we kind of just like threw into this heel and this heel became an afterthought. Keep it centered until you have to transfer all the way. Cool. All right, so flap, step, flap, step, Broadway, flap, step, flap, step, Broadway. One more time and then we'll finish the piece. Five, six, seven, eight. Told you that that part's just a little quick. Then you have shuffle, step, heel, ball, change. So you have right foot, shuffle, step, heel. Left, right, ball, change. Now, this part is putting on the wrist, paradiddle stamp, but we're finishing with the left foot doing the paradiddle. And there is nothing after that. You're just stopping there. Because it's the end of the piece. I wanted to end on putting on the wrist. So we're ending on six. <laughs> or five, we're ending on five. Three, you hold six, seven, eight, and just finish out. Okay? So that last part was shuffle, step, heel, ball, change. So let's just try that. Five, six, seven, go. One, and two, and three, and four, and five. Good. So let's go from full up step, full up step, and then we'll walk through the entire piece, then we'll try it with music. When I point, by the way, I'm pointing to my stereo, so in case anyone was not sure, I say, let's try it with music, and I'm just pointing at something. Um, all right, so from flap step, five, six, seven, eight. So that shuffle step heel, way slower than we were just doing, like, So you really got to like slow down, make sure your weight is on your left leg. All right, you guys ready to walk through the whole thing? Cool, let's do it. So from the top, five, six, seven, eight.
That's like the hardest part of all of these tutorials for me because I have to say and do at the same time. It's just exhausting. But it's also fun because at the end of it, I'm like, I did it. Because <laughs> it's really hard. Any of y'all that are top teachers, you know, like saying and doing at the same time is one of the hardest parts. But it's also very important that we learn how to do that. All right, we good? Let's try it. First time doesn't count. First time we're doing the whole thing together. Let's just try to make it through and then fix it as we go afterwards. Let this first time just be, okay, let's see what it feels like. Let's see what it sounds like, okay? no one's filming your class you're just learning it so give yourself some grace let's try it again even I, I definitely need to fix one or two things that I just did so I feel that okay all right let's do it so excited. All right, let's do it. Oh, my God. 
time learning this dance with me today. Um, real quick, I wanted to tell you all about this outfit because first of all, I love skirts. Look at this piano socks. But the big one is this vest. Um, I got this vest from a former student who started her own small brand fashion or small company fashion brand. Right? Is that how you say it? Small fashion brand? <laughs> sure. It's this eco-friendly, sustainable fashion brand, and I am just in awe of her, and I love celebrating my former students' achievements, and this is quite an achievement. Um, you can find her. I'll have all of the links down below. This vest is probably my favorite piece of clothing that I own right now. It fits me like a dream, and she makes it to your measurements and everything, and it's just so soft. I'm like, it's just so cute. I, it's every tap dancer's dream, right? To own a vest like this, I think, maybe. <laughs> and I usually go a little for like the punk rock side, but sometimes you gotta go classic. And I, I would wear this vest with anything. It is so comfortable. And the back is adjustable, I love that part. So I just wanted to tell you about it because I am so proud of her. So if you're interested in supporting a small sustainable fashion brand, or if you wanna check out where I got this vest, this also comes as a set with pants. Um, information is down below in the description, so make sure that you check that out. Not sponsored, just a fan. So anyway, again, thank you for joining me for learning this dance. I'm so glad that we finally got to do it. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button and join the TAP fam. We've got vests. No, just kidding. And yes, <laughs> we have choreography tutorials like this of all levels. We've got step tutorials where you can just learn a step. We've got technique exercises. We've got challenges and vlogs and all kinds of stuff. This is your free YouTube tap studio and I love being your YouTube tap teacher. So join the fam because subscribing is probably the greatest way to support this channel. The more subscribers I get, the more I can offer you because there's like different tiers and stuff. So when I hit 10,000 subscribers, I can start offering you some really cool things. So help me get to 10,000 from this point and then we'll keep growing together from there. So yeah, subscribe, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button because thumbs up is how YouTube goes, oh, people like that, people love free tap class. And then that pushes it out to other people and we share the love of free tap class. So hit the thumbs up and as always, thank you for dancing with me.